Hello, everyone. Phoenix Tremaine here with your spoolers for Days of Our Lives for the week of June 17th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And we have a membership where you will have seen this video uh, almost a week early. And, you know, you get those spoolers on Fridays uh, on our live Zoom so that you get everything in advance. So it's a good place to be in a membership. We'd love to have you. Please give it a try. And now <clears throat> we're going to get right into the spoilers. Um, I am still going to do the commentary for um, Days of Our Lives. I'll probably do it on uh, Tuesday, uh, talking about the week in advance. Um, I mean, the previous week with the new writers coming back up until maybe Monday or Tuesday episode, because we got the demise of Constantine, Teresa, you know, uh, getting a reprieve. But <clears throat> I think it's actually going to be Xander's mother that they keep talking about that would eventually lead to the truth coming out about Xander being Victor's son because Xander's mother, you know, she knows she slept with. So there's a good chance that um, that would be the big reveal. Also, in these spoilers that you're about to hear, it implies that Alex is going to propose to Teresa. So I don't know if they'll have an Alex, Xander, Sarah, Teresa double wedding where the truth comes out, or if it's at a Teresa and Alex wedding and the truth comes out, or the truth comes out as Xander and Sarah's wedding with the mother being there. So, you know, we'll, we were told uh, by the head writer, Ron, that um, the secret will come out and Teresa will be exposed. So I don't know how soon they want to do it because July sweeps is coming up. Now, with that said, I can get to the spoilers. Monday, uh, with Chanel leaving Salem on the horizon. Uh, see, I said in the last spoilers that it sounded like Chanel and Johnny were leaving. But that is sort of like what they do on Days of Lives. They send actors away and then bring them back you know, down the road, like Kristen, John, this happens to them a lot. Um, Pauline is down in the dumps. Luckily for her, Abe is by her side to give her the comfort that she needs. Although EJ just got down to the bottom of being deceived himself, he's about to find out what it's like to be called out for doing it to someone else. A yelling match seems inevitable when Stefan faces off with his consistent en enemy, his brother, uh, over the, his latest deception. But thanks to all the chaos that has been circling around them, lately, Alex tries to avoid any more conflict and decides it's time to clear the air with Brady about a few things. On Tuesday, as if the wedding didn't end with a terrifying enough turn, it looks like there's even more shocking news that Maggie will have to weather about Constantine. I don't know what else. Wow, he killed Victor. I mean, that was the bombshell right there. But um, it worked. Uh, who knows what else is coming out? Sarah discovers there may be a limit to her talents when she runs into a dead end, trying to find out who Xander's mom is. Julian chattered on for loop and their plans are disrupted when Jack suddenly returns to town because Jack is going to come back. Um, and also we're about to find out that Lonnie and Eli are coming back for Paulina Abe's uh, Juneteenth wedding anniversary. Wednesday, after enduring uh, Stefan's wrath, EJ manages to find some time to relax with his son. He and John discuss his future plans and all the dreams he still wants to make a reality. Eli and Lonnie come back to Salem just in time to help everyone celebrate Abe and Paulina's wedding anniversary. They're not back permanently. They're back for this event. Away from Jack's probing, Chad and Julie manage to discover something that could rock many lives, which is Abigail being alive or somebody that looks like Abigail because I've heard different things. 
that it's a lookalike. It's not actually Abigail, but this is Salem. People come back from the dead all the time. Jack came back from the dead. EJ came back from the dead. You know, Stephen came back from the dead. You know, so dead's not dead in Salem. Um, we're going to go to Thursday when prom night finally arrives. Tate and Howe. Y'all know how I feel about these old ass actors playing teens. Almost 30, halfway to 30, but you're supposed to be 16. Okay. I hope the new writers will fix that and throw their, their butts in college, but no, we're still here. Um, Tate and Holly are using all their combined brain power to come up with a plan to spend it together. Unfortunately for the teens, even without trying, Nicole may have already ruined her plans. I have a feeling she might ask Holly to babysit. I don't I don't know. I'm, I don't know how else Nicole can ruin those plans. Eric faces some awkward questions from Marlena about his lingering feelings for Nicole. How many times have they had this conversation? I've been watching for 12 years, and I've seen this conversation at least 10 times. But anyway... Friday, the Salem prom is sure to have no shenanigans with Teresa and Brady acting as chaperones, sure to keep their eyes on Tate and Holly. That sounds like sarcasm because we know something's going to go down at the prom, even if it's just Holly and Tate losing their virginities. Something's going to happen. After what he's been through lately, it's no surprise that Steve would want to get something off his chest. Justin is on the receiving end when he finally opens up. No longer content to avoid committing, Alex drives ahead with a bold choice. That's why I said I think he's going to propose to Teresa. So that is the spoilers for the week of the 17th. Let me know what you think about the spoilers, and I will see you in the next video.